outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. And since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Man, that's it just like we survived the snowpocalypse of 2016. What better way to spend it to make makeup tutorials? So, here we are. With the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion, we're going to be putting that wherever the eyeshadow is going, meaning underneath your eye, on your eyelid, and up under the brow bone. For this, we're going to be using the Tartlet palette by Tarte. Bunch of gorgeous matte colors made out of Amazonian clay. And we're going to take this Lancome 23 angled eyeshadow brush and use the color Free Spirit to highlight our eye. The gorgeous thing about this color is it has a really nice yellow undertone to it, so it adds a lot of warmth to your eye. Next we're going to be using the Lancome 22 brush, which is a fat crease brush, and we're going to be using the color Wonderer and doing, surprise, surprise, putting it in our crease. teeny tiny bit right there. And using the Lancome 17 brush, which is a big fluffy blending brush, we're going to use that to blend out the crease color into the color Free Spirit that we use to highlight. This is the Lancome 11 brush, which is just a average large eyeshadow brush. And we're going to be using the color Power Player to transition these warm colors we just put on into the cool colors we're going to be putting on later. So that's just going to go right into the crease, very lightly. Keep in mind with this palette that the colors are super pigmented, so you only need a little bit. I'm giving you a fair warning now because you're going to see later how I found that out the hard way. Alright, so now we're transitioning into the purple colors. And using the color Best Friend with that same brush we used earlier, we're going to start packing that into the crease and also defining our eye by putting that in the outer V and even underneath the eye. I decided to use this color instead of the darker purple color to put underneath my eye because this is a lot lighter color and you don't want to make your eye look too close with the darker colors since this is a fun and flirty look we're going for so you want to keep the eye looking nice and wide open. Of course, blend it out. Using that same brush, we're going to be taking Bombshell and just darkening up what we just did with the color Best Friend. So up in the outer V and in the crease, but not putting it on the bottom of the eye. And blend it out. And in about two seconds, you're going to see what I meant earlier by how I learned the hard way that these colors are super, super pigmented. And there it is. Super extremely harsh. I actually had to end up cutting out the end of this clip because I had to go through like eight brushes and spend five minutes trying to blend out that harsh line. Hey, nobody's perfect, okay? So skipping onward, we're going to be using the Lancome 18 brush and the left side of the screen, that side of the brush. We're going to be using Free Spirit again to go and redefine the highlight that's on our lid. But to redefine our brow bone, we're going to be using Super Mom. And the reason why I use that color instead is because it has a cool undertone. It's a lot more pink, and that way it transitions a little bit better into the cool colors, uh, the purple. For this look, I decided to use my NYX liquid liner and to be perfectly honest with you guys, I have used, let's see, like the $5 to $10 drugstore brand liquid liners, and I've even used some that have been from luxury brands that are sometimes over $30. Um, and this one has actually been probably my favorite liquid liner that I've ever used. I prefer a brush instead of a felt tip, and this has a brush, which is actually kind of hard to come by nowadays, at least for me. But the brush, is, the brush is stiff enough that it doesn't fan out when you try to use it, but they're not so stiff that they poke you in the eye. I have gotten one like that before. And it's 
really, really affordable. You can find it at like Target and stuff like that. So if you're looking for a liquid liner, I highly, highly recommend this one. So I decided to go with a really dramatic wing here. Again, for that fun flirty look. And in order to keep my eye open, I did not put any eyeliner on the bottom. So once all that has dried, I'm going to curl my lashes and I'm going to skip using an eye, an eye lash primer and go straight into using the Hypnos Doll Lashes Mascara since I'm going to be putting on false lashes later. This is my favorite mascara to use when it comes to trying to do like a fun flirty kind of look because as you can see on the screen, uh, the the wand is a cone shape, so it still gives you that cat eye, but the bristles are super long, so it'll brush out all of the formula and give you no clumps, so that way the mascara is still very naturalistic looking. And here comes the false lashes. A couple tips for you guys who have uh, never used false lashes before. Wait until the glue is really tacky, that way it sticks to your eye and it doesn't slip and slide everywhere while the glue is still runny. Also you want to work on pushing your natural lashes to the fake lashes so that way they blend seamlessly together. And then to seal the two together you coat it with another coat of mascara like I'm doing here. And that's all there is to it. That's the finished look. You're ready to go for date night with your special someone, especially Valentine's Day coming up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you want to see next. Bye!